Welcome back to the garden. I've had a little bit of a negative progress going on, so I decided to do some cheating on our igloo. And the first thing I did was tear down one of my walls because it was just a little too weak. I was just using blocks of snow and they weren't solid enough so they were starting to collapse. So I'm making my own blocks now out of compressed snow and they're pretty easy to make in a bucket like this. So I just pack it in as tight as I can all the way down and I've packed in again and again until it's really compact because if you just compact the surface you'll be it'll be really thin down below. Then I just tap the edges to loosen it up and it comes out like a big sand castle. Nice and smooth like that. So I did the foundation with these big blocks and then as I started to curve inwards I began cutting them in half so that I could not only get more material but have lighter material. I'm getting lighter as I go up. So the real trick is to just get really good contact with your previous blocks. And you do that by carving very specific angles on your pieces. So you want to slope inward so that you can get your dome shape. And then you want the sides to do the same thing, sloping in to meet up with the next one. So then these slope and lock in together. You want to do both sides at a slight angle so that you got wedge type shapes. And when you contact the bottom and one side, you can actually get it to adhere pretty well. And then once I've gotten a few layers of those, I'm going to work over again back to just my normal compressed snow. I'm just going to do the same thing and cut them into blocks that have good contact. But this is much lighter than the compressed snow made in the bucket. So as we go up, we're just getting thinner and lighter. So a big piece like this weighs about as much as a little piece of a homemade block. So I decided to cheat and I've added horizontal supports over the fireplace area and over the window and then vertical supports on the roof and these actually aren't necessary but I was having a little trouble before I started cutting my own blocks so you know it's done now but these personal blocks that are specific to the exact area actually do a great job and these along the back aren't even supported. You can see they're not even touching, but they are suspended. So really you don't need much. But this project is coming along nicely. I'm almost done, so I should be able to finish tonight. Pull this ladder out and cross my fingers. Yes! Man, can't recommend that. This really isn't the greatest technique, nor is an igloo really an efficient survival structure. Just a bit of a novelty. I got a little hole to patch and a big window to fix. But this is it. Not too shabby. I'm gonna work on the chimney too. That's a pretty decent igloo. Imagine waking up to this. It's absolutely beautiful. You could certainly spend a night in an igloo like this without any wind. It's really quite comfortable. Now I have to patch up this window because the structure actually changed as it thawed. 
the impurities force the crystals into these weird hexagonal shapes. So they just crumbled apart. But luckily I put in a horizontal support right about here and buried it in. Just like I did over here on the chimney. So that saved me, I think. And the ladder's out. So the roof is just completely suspended. A little bit by these sticks, but mostly by itself. And we're about five or six feet tall. I can just barely stand up in here. And there's plenty of room to lay down. It's about eight feet across, about six feet high. But the windows turned out great. Once I replace this one, I'm gonna actually build another window and put in a skylight. So hopefully I'll be able to pull out these sticks or at least cut them down until I can put a skylight in. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is build up my chimney. So here's our little fireplace, which is actually our fire pit outside. But I've built it into it, into our igloo, and I've got the chimney coming up here. So I'll be having little fires, just enough to where the walls thaw out, and then I'll douse the fire and let it refreeze. So hopefully we'll get a little ice chimney going on. But I've really enjoyed this project, and I hope you have too. So I hope I've inspired you to get out there and give it a grow yourself. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.